Hey everyone, this is Ed Brzee with Boomer Tech Adventures. Just a short instructional video on a great feature on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac computer. It'll work a little bit differently on each of those devices, of course, um, but it's called Markup. And I'm, on, I'm uh, demonstrating on my iPad this morning, although I'm looking over my shoulder at my um, iPhone, um, I just I, I like a little more screen real estate to use this editing and drawing tool um, that you can both have fun with and you can use it for some more serious purposes. But essentially you can edit or draw in screenshots and photos. I have a very cute photo here obviously and I'm going to open up markup and I'm going to start on the, with a circle on the left hand side. Uh, with the three dots at the bottom, the three dots usually mean more. There's something else behind there. And when I touch that, you can see the markup uh, symbol, the pen inside the, um, the circle, and I'm just simply going to touch that. That's going to open the palette, as you can see down below. There are a number of things. I won't demonstrate everything today. I really recommend that you just open markup up on, on one of your devices particularly maybe an iPad because it's a touch screen and you can do it with your with your finger but just give it a try here are some things that we can do so we have a pen a marker and a pencil I'm going to use the marker because I like the bigger size and I'm going to just get a little color let's make that yellow I'm going to touch that again increase the opacity so we can see it and I'm going to just use the smallest um, line size by circling this little guy over here. If I go back to that I can change the size of the the thickness of the line and you can see the difference there. Now that's too thick so I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to touch the eraser and just erase that like that. Very easy. What else can it do? Obviously you've got a full color palette um, if you have a photo like this that you want to send to someone and you want to um, do a little writing in here, um, we've got the text. I'm going to change the... And when I touch that, that will open up an edit. When I say edit, that will give me the uh, keyboard. And let's make that a little bit different color. There we go. I'm going to put that up here. And just I'm going to have just a little fun with this. So I'm going to open up a text box. Turn that around a little bit. It takes a while to get used to moving all these things around. And we can have this cute little guy saying something like that up here. Um, on the right hand side I've been using this, the, um, the plus that's inside a circle opens up several other things as you can see, text signature, magnifier, and then other shapes. Well, I'm just going to touch the, um, the circle and I can use that and make that bigger or smaller just to go over there to highlight something if I want. Um, the other shapes are in there. Other shapes are um, if I want to have an arrow to point to this little guy who ended up being our pup called Paddle. Um, this is really cool. I like the magnifier and you can drag that up and show that cute little guy right there. Isn't that, isn't that neat? So this is called Markup. It's in several different places on your devices. Um, and again, it's very useful, um, but you just need to get in and try it out and, and uh, use the different aspects of it. So that's a quick view of markup um, on your Apple devices. This is Ed Brzee with Boomer Tech Adventures. Try, give that thing a try. You'll like it. It's fun.